Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Where have you been? Been in every bar in town, I can't find you. I don't know where you guys been hiding. No, I don't, I, I'm just kidding, I don't go, I don't go to bars anymore. Used to, used to like that stuff. And then I started feeling weak and bad and everything. I had to turn my life around, you know. And I just wondered if you guys been turning your lives around. Uh, have you gotten off all that medication yet? Huh? What did you say? You haven't. <clears throat> okay, well, you, you just got to stay with me now and have faith in old Steve-O and foul Steve-O down the holistic, healthy path, you know? Yeah, just like your honeybees. We want the honeybee colony healthy, and we want the human colony healthy. So, next time you go to your doctor, and and he says, you've been taking that medication again? You say, no. No, doc, I haven't. I, uh, I've been following old Steve-O down the the healthy, holistic path. And he's going to say, who in the hell is Steve-O? And they say, Doc, you know, maybe you should have a different outlook on life, Doc. Uh, maybe instead of pushing all this poison you're giving me, why don't you go over to Steve-O's channel and start watching old Steve-O and uh, following, following him around the bee yard and because uh, he has healthy honeybees and he likes us to, the human colony to be happy also and healthy so yeah just uh give him that bit of information and uh see if he grabs the ball and runs with it but i don't think he will because he was trained by big pharma and he uh they just won't allow anything holistic guys i'm telling you yeah. Just tell him, Doc, Steve-O says to go on an all-meat diet. Don't be eating all those carbs. Don't eat, eat no oatmeal and wheat and pasta and potatoes and all that starchy stuff that's going to plug up your arteries. No, we don't want that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, Doc, I know you're confused right now. Just tell him, Doc, I know you're confused. Your head's spinning a little bit, but it'll be all right just as soon as you calm down, doctor. And, uh, oh, he'll get mad at you now. Your doctor will get mad. He'll take his fist now, and he'll slam it on that counter. You listen to me. He'll say, you listen to me. You don't listen to old Steve-O. Just tell Doc, Doc, I don't know. It just seems like... It just seems like old Steve-O's been around the block more than you. Yeah, I just tell him that. And uh, see how he reacts to that one, okay? And just tell him, now, Doc, don't get your panties in a wad now, because old Steve-O, he doesn't even have a uh, uh, doctor's license, no. He's not certified in the uh, medical world at all, no. He just knows the laws of nature, Doc. And he knows that we humans, uh, we can't be eating all these carbs, carbohydrates. And uh, because Steve-O said that, that the honeybees, honeybee colony, uh, is a high-carb, high you know, colony. They like the carbs. But we human, we human colony, we, don't, we can't have those carbs because they will plug up our heart and cause all kinds of high inflammation. Yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, Miss Daisy did a bad one the other day. She came in, she was so proud of herself, she bought all these nuts. She, she knows I like uh, almonds, and she knows I like cashews, so she bought me some. She was so proud of herself. And she put them in those nice glass containers, you know, set there by my, by my chair. And uh, I said, where's the... I was started eating some of these and I just said no there's something wrong here something wrong with this picture I said you still got the bags for this stuff you, yeah right here in the, it had they processed these nuts with uh, canola oil and safflower oil those are two toxic oils not made for the human body 
no, no, no. I said, this Daisy, I appreciate what you did for me. I really do. But uh, this stuff, if I eat it, it's going to kill me. What? I said, yep. It's a slow kill. It'll just slowly take you out and kill you. Really? Yep, yep. I've studied these oils, and they're not good. They will take you out of the food chain, Miss Daisy. She said, oh my God, what are we, these are expensive nuts. I said, they certainly are, but do you know right next to them, they sell the ones that are raw, raw nuts. Those are the ones we want to eat. She said, what are we going to do with these? I said, well, I don't care if the squirrels get high cholesterol or everything. So they're out here right now, and there's squirrels running up and down the fence, getting these nuts, taking them up. Yeah. About twenty dollars worth of nuts. Mm -hmm. But anyway, she's going to go. I put in my order for some ribeyes, and she's going to go down and pick up that order. And uh, she said, "I'm going to get you some good ones when I go back." I said, "You are a good girl." So that's my Miss Daisy. She's taking care of old Steva. So let's go out and take care of the bees. I want to go out here and see. Well, let's check these packages that I installed here recently. I haven't looked at them since I put them in there. So you guys will be seeing them as I see them. And we will go in there and uh, see how those baby girls are doing. Hopefully these queens are laying. And then I want to check these other hives uh, to see if I got anything to sell. I need to, I need to make some money here. i got to sell some nukes. And i got about 10 people uh, waiting on the waiting list for nukes. I want to go out here see if i got anything to sell. And if I do, I'll write sell on the top. I'll come in, make some phone calls, see if we can't move some bees. We've got a major storm coming in tonight, on into tomorrow. So I don't know how. They should be fine today. Nice and sunny out, a little cool, not bad. So we'll get out here and check these guys and see what they're doing. Yesterday I went out there and I got I, the, the, the baby girls, the hive in the swamp guys, gave old Steve-O an attitude adjustment yesterday. Should have threw a, you know, should have threw the old head net on. Was in a hurry. Sometimes, you know, even working bees most of your life, you, you still, every once in a while, it seems like we have to, be, we beekeepers seem to have to get a little attitude adjustment. So the girls gave me one yesterday. I went and pulled that top bucket off, peeked under there, and the jar was empty, syrup. So they weren't flying real heavy out of the entrance. So I just, because it's cool, it was a little cool. It's in the morning. So I tilted the jar back, and man, they were just, I mean, they were like right there. They were ready to get some, get some old Steve-O booty, let me tell you. So I didn't throw a head net on. I said, let's just make this quick. And so I went and filled up my jar, went out there. And I do it fairly fast, but I was a little slow this that morning, yesterday morning, and I went to change jars, and I did. I'll bet you 50 bees came out of there like that. Well, they were bouncing all off of me, and I took a couple hits in the in the head, and got one in this ear, went right down in the ear and stabbed me. Went, went, one on this ear stabbed me. One come up here and hit me in the forehead, hit me. So I, instead of getting away from there like I should have, like now. I said, well, I'll put the bucket back on, and I'll put my brick back on. By the time I got that bucket on there, I had 10 hits in the face, okay? Took a hit right here in the corner of my eye, right here in the corner of my eye, and uh, so so anyway, uh, yeah, that was, uh, yeah, I got an attitude adjustment. I went in the shed, and I'm digging these stingers out of me, right? And I'm, it, they got my face, I mean, I'm burning up. And I got that water on, coming off the wellhead. I got 72 degree water coming off that wellhead. That nice cold water coming out of it. And man, I'm just soaking it. The stinger's still in. I haven't got a mirror. I had to take my glasses off. And digging stinger, I'm just feeling around for stingers, digging them out of my face. I'll tell you what. That, yep, old Steve-O got an attitude adjustment. So be careful, guys. You will get these attitude adjustments occasionally. Just be careful. If I would have stood there just for a minute, them bees would have covered me up. No, I'm not kidding you. And uh, I can take a lot of hits, but 
you're not going to take many in the face and head. You can take it in the body, but you're not going to take it in the face much, I'm telling you. So where are your head at? Every time I go out there, I'm going to be checking that hive. I don't know if we're going to check it today or not. I've got to run over to Mother Bee Yard, check those over there, and see how they're doing. Like I said, hopefully I've got, hopefully I've got like four, four nukes to sell at least. I want to move some bees. Got bills to pay, got sugar to buy. Actually, I bought, I've got, uh, well, I got, I got that 25 pound bag and I got that whole garbage can. I put a liner in that. Uh, one of these liner, one of these big heavy garbage cans, uh, garbage bag, what do you call them? Uh, uh, tr contractor bags inside of there. And there is 125 pounds of sugar in that, that garbage can. Then I got 25 here. So yeah, I've got, a, I've got, a, I got uh, you know, bills to pay. So I got to sell some bees. All right, let's get out here and uh, see what the girls are doing. Okay, guys, this is a package here that we put in on, uh, on uh, 410. No, it was before that. It was about 422 we put this package in. I put Queen right on 410 when I checked it. Let's hope everything's still hunky-dory in here. Yeah, this, this hive's coming along. Looks like coming along really nice. Yeah, they're starting to draw out this end. This end comb here. Putting up some nectar in it. Look how they look how they've drawn this out on my string frames, guys. Beautiful, beautiful brood pattern. Beautiful. It is still even with the strings, guys. There's a lot of weight, so don't don't kind of tilt these like this. Because if you see, watch it sag. See it sagging against that 20 pound mono it won't fall out but it's still you, you need to handle them like this This Georgia Queen, guys, is just working out. This Georgia Queen, guys, is just working out fantastic. She's laying like crazy. That's full of honey. She's got two frames down here, guys, on the ends. That she's got room to work yet. So we're in good shape with this colony here. Uh, we could give this maybe, I'm gonna guess two more weeks at the most. And uh, we need to get back in here and start robbing resources out of this colony. 
to make up more nooks. Give it, I'm going to say two more weeks on this colony. I'm going to say two more weeks on this girl right here. And then we need to get back in here and start robbing some, some stuff to make more nooks. This has got, she has got an excellent, she's got excellent temper. Excellent temperament on this queen. We'll keep feeding them. Uh, I see no beetles in there yet. That's great. Some colonies are better at uh, controlling the mites more than others. <laughs> in about another week, I'm going to start uh, oxalic acid vapor on these hives. This was a package. This thing slapped full of bees. This colony right here, I installed the same time as this one. I came back uh, a week later and no queen. I must have rolled her accidentally or something, or they balled her. They could have balled her. Sometimes that happens when you're putting in packages. They just don't like the queen. And uh, as you can see, I got plenty of bees. They're chilling out here. It's from the same guy. I've got two packages over here, one there and one there. We're going to go into those next to see what we got. And uh, I want to check these other colonies while I'm right here. I'm going to check this one right now, right, right here beside this one here. And see what's going on in this colony. Okay guys, there's the queen right there, right there walking around. She seems like she's laying pretty good here. <laughs> she's laying real well. <clears throat> but she's just getting started. Just getting started guys, so we're gonna leave her alone. She'll be ready in about three weeks. This girl right here will be ready. This girl will be ready in about three weeks. This hive's out of syrup, so I stood, stood my brick up. So on on five seven, we'll check that hive. Let's go into this little hive colony here and see what we got. I'm going to try to keep these Georgia bees. I'm going to try to keep all these Georgia bees here 
and really do a lot of breeding from these colonies. I, I like the way their temperament is and their brood pattern is absolutely fantastic. Okay, this colony here, guys, fantastic. Good thing I got my bricks on here guys, we've got heavy winds coming in here. I had 60 mile an hour winds come in here last week, didn't blow off of one of these buckets. It was howling through here. So just a bucket, the wind whips around these, it seems like it whips underneath these, these rails, and I didn't lose anything. And this wipe is ready to sell. So I'm going to put sell on here. That hive on the end is going to be ready to sell. Let's get over here. I'm going to leave this colony right here alone for the moment. I know it's not fat enough yet to even fool with, but I'm going to peek in later today. Let's go over here and look at these, these colonies that we installed here the other day. We installed these on 415. Here's a plastic cell frame, guys. It was nothing but a sheet. They were brand new. And uh, she's laying eggs good down in here. I figured these would be along a lot further than they are, though.
Here's one of my string frames. She's laying very well. Our Georgia baby girl is doing real well. I don't see her in here, but I'm not going to look for her. Indicate that 423 three clean right. Let's check this other hive here. This colony looks about the same strength. Always work on your outside frame first, pull it. Work toward the center of your nest. Okay, we got another success story here. She's doing good. She's laying up really nice in here. And there she is right there. There's that big fatty girl, Georgia. That's your Georgia baby girl right there, guys. Georgia baby girl. She's doing fine. needs time she just needs time like a fine wine we'll keep the sugar water on them Let them be all they can be. Now look at here, guys. Look at this little midget. And what I got here is a beekeeper friend from Michigan. He just pulled out of town yesterday. He dropped this off. And he's heading back to Wolverine, Michigan and he brought down his best colony when he came down he's got he runs like 10 or 20 up there he brought his best colony down here he let some other guy take his bees and run them uh, on a little pollination thing with his hives and uh anyway 
he is uh, he came down here I think he's doing six months here six months up there the way, way he works it and uh, so he's been making up queens and he brought his best colony with him these are bees from his very best colony and he took made a little two framer here he's got some screen he got a looks like a one inch hole board in on this end and one on the other end and then he's got one little hole here and uh, the reason I ended up with this because there's there's cells in here there's a frame in here full of cells he did some grafting and he said he's taken back he's got the vehicle slam full of bees he's taken back look at her bringing in pollen you know that's a good sign right there guys and you got bees bringing in pollen there's another one coming in look at that and you know you see that white pollen on that bee right there that, that's got to be soft palmetto they're coming in with there's another one see it so uh, these little girls are doing fine so I'll keep this going for old Martin and when he comes back he's got a real estate person looking for some property he wants to get a couple couple acres or so in ag land and uh, we met on uh, he's seen me on YouTube and uh, and then he saw my ad on Craigslist so that's how we met uh, super nice guy and he's really into bees like I am and uh, anyway this is bee trying to drag something out of the hive here looks like a looks like a wax moss skin or something they're trying to drag out No, it's a piece of paper towel. Anyway, uh, yeah, when he gets back, he'll be back in the fall. He's gonna bring back a bunch of bees with him, and uh, he's gonna he's gonna start up a, a little nuke business down here in Florida, which is fantastic. And uh, and uh, so hopefully, uh, he said we can team up together and crank out some bees together, have fun with it, you know. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it's a little Martin Hive. I will, I'll keep you, uh, you know. He said this was the best colony he had, so this is bloodline from his best colony. So we'll see how this goes. And I see he's got the lid screwed down here. And he had a little screen across here with two screws in it for transporting. So I always drill mine on the ends, but heck, this is fine. I see a lot of guys work with queen castles and they're always coming out the side and everything else with them so this is kind of a cool box here and uh, so I've got this ch to check on 513 um, he said there were several cells in here and, s and some weren't capped off yet so they're very fragile I didn't want to get into this colony at all just lay leave them alone uh, you're gonna damage these queens if you mess with them Hopefully they didn't get damaged in the, in the transport from his place to my place. But we'll see how it goes. And uh, I'll keep you posted on them, on them bees. Uh, let's go into this colony right here. And I want to go into this colony here. goal is here to try to find three colonies that I can sell this colony doesn't look real fat I don't know looks awfully weak They don't all make it. This is actually a queen ride hive that was over here.
There is a queen in here and she's laying eggs. But I thought for sure she'd be fat going on better than this. I put 423 in a question mark on this high because I'm going to come back to it. If it's not up to speed here in another week or two, it's getting broke down and uh, this queen is going to get shut down. She's, she's played out. She is laying some eggs in here. I didn't give her a whole bunch of resources and that's probably a screw up on my part. I should have gave her more resources. And all the all the hives I make up for the rest of this year are gonna have plenty of resources in them. Uh, like when I start robbing out from those other hives, them Georgia bees over here, I'm gonna put plenty of resources in on that new on that nuke.
Okay, they were trying to let, they're trying to make a queen cell, but there was nothing in it. A couple more over here. Nothing in it. So I'm going to give them a frame of eggs. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get them a frame of eggs. You guys watch my bees while I'm going.
Okay guys, what I've done here is uh, I stole a frame out of the Georgia hive. We've got perfect, perfect uh, larva over here for them to make their own. I found the queen. This is going to be a perfect one here. This would be a perfect frame for these bees to make a new queen. to do here is check on 523 do not go into this hide before then keep feet on them so they can make a nice queen in there with Georgia bees Here's a nice resource frame. We won't take these alien bees over there. We'll shake them out right here. This is going in the Georgia hive. Okay guys, not looking too bad. I gotta go into this colony. I gotta go into that colony. See if I got anything else to sell. Hopefully I can find something to sell out of these two here. And then I got some around the corner there I gotta check. So you guys got a little bit of the idea of what's going on here. And uh, I'll see you on the next one guys. And uh, keep after them bees social distancing with everything except your honeybees okay be happy guys be strong we got to keep getting our own we got bees to make all summer long see ya <laughs>